If you ever look up the name Crown Victoria, you'll find a picture of Mr. Random under the definition. That's because I eat, sleep, and breathe Crown Vicks. So if you're looking to buy one, you just hit the mother load of Crown Victoria videos. Ladies and gentlemen, this is, before you buy, a Ford Crown Victoria police interceptor. When it comes to American-made four-door sedans, there's one car to rule them all. The Crown Victoria P71 Police Interceptor. And here's why. To start off, it has an indestructible body-on-frame design. It also has a chassis that is almost identical to the F-150. Actually, there is a thing where people literally remove the shell of a Crown Victoria and put the body of a Ford F-100 pickup truck on it. That's how close to having a pickup truck frame the Crown Victoria is. It's also rear-wheel drive. It doesn't have any driver assist. No, 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 no. You drive this car. It does not drive you. And it's all powered by the beating heart straight from a Mustang GT. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that's the bulletproof two-valve 4.6 liter V8. It also comes along with a beefed-up radiator and cooling systems and with an upgraded suspension. Okay, the Crown Victoria suspension was so superior that even the Marauder itself borrowed about 90% of it. Okay, think about it this way. The Crown Victoria was the GT350 of the Panther platform. Oh, this one really pisses off the Marauder, guys. <laughs> the Crown Victoria is Big Boss, and the Marauder is Solid Snake. Now, the Crown Victoria isn't a fast car by any means. It only made about 250 horsepower and had a 0-60 to 60 of just around 8 seconds, maybe 8.9, 9 seconds, depending on who's driving it. And... Sixty-nine seconds. Okay, now here's a good piece of advice. The best years to get a Crown Vic are 1999, 2000, 2001, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2010, and 2011. Pretty much from 99 to 2001, they were slightly underpowered, uh, making about 230 horsepower, but they still had a throttle cable, unlike the later models, which had an electronic throttle motor. What that means is for the older models, you can directly bolt on Mustang parts without much of a hassle. But just like every car, the Crown Vic has its flaws, that's for sure, and a set of problems as well. I'm actually going to go ahead and list just a few of them, just the tip of the iceberg. First, we'll start off with shitty alternators, which were caused by thousands of hours spent idling, powering the equivalent of a small city worth of police electronics. Okay, so cut it some slack. You try doing that in your Chevy Cruze and see if your alternator lasts more than a day. This is uh, the alternator right there. You guys are going to listen to it. All right, whenever you're ready. Next up is the ticking time bomb transmissions. And that's caused by freaking years, literally years, responding to code three calls in city limits and long ass highways. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna floor it. You guys see that? There's also the faulty driver's side power windows, okay? And those are caused by hundreds of wallet finding, lost tourists looking for directions, neighborhood watch crime reporting, mouth breathing civilians. And of course, the infamous intake manifold leaking and messing up your coil packs along with your spark plugs. Towards the edges, they're actually gonna start slightly leaking now. Uh but don't let any of those things uh, stop you from getting a Crown Vic, actually. 
It's one of the easiest and cheapest cars to fix. Not to mention it's the only car, and this is my honest opinion, I actually actually do think this. It's the only car that can rock a Mad Max look, an off-road crawler look, a hot rod look, and a cop car look, and look good doing it. Either way, if you guys are in the market for a Crown Victoria, I hope this video helped you uh, help sway your decision one way or another. Either way, it's your boy, Mr. Random, a.k.a. the Godfather of Crown Victorias. Capiche? Either way, I'll catch you guys in the next Crown Victoria video. Take it easy.